so very good evening all of you thank you for joining in while i did a session at 7 o'clock and uh, you know the same session which uh, i have done in terms of how are we supposed to do the practice in the practice session if you have logged in you have participated in this competition right so what i will do is i will just try to share a a quick 10 minutes of you know a way of how do you practice whether you are part of the theme one part of the competition whether you are part of the theme two of the competition or whether you are part of the theme three of the competition doesn't matter because the way you are expected to practice on the portal has the same similar approach right and what is that approach is what i am going to explain in general over here right how is the portal supposed to be accessed when you want to actually work on the practice session but then before that i need to cover some very important points see whether you are part of the theme one that is your wis club futures program and you are supposed to actually work on a challenge which is expected to work on actual hardware but you will not use the actual hardware you will develop the software part for that problem statement and you will actually be tested for the hardware knowledge on the basis of the questions some multiple choice questions and then you will also be tested on the basis of some of the software questions so software program hardware questions and then third one software questions so this 1 2 3 plus the time taken to do all these thing will decide whether you are a you know you are you are amongst the top because you might say why time is coming into picture because we are 7500 students in the theme one already right and it is going to be a tough competition because all of you have good hands on in the in the case of you know um how to work in the portal and how to work on the hardware but when it comes to judging in a competition there has to be a criteria right so in in that case your answer of software is right your answer to the questions of hardware is right your answer to the questions on software is right with person number 1 and person number 2 then who did it quickly and we have the time measurement up to milliseconds also and that's why the practice sessions are important so whatever theme you are into theme 1 theme 2 theme 3 just ensure that you take use of the practice sessions in such a way that you have a solid hold on the portal you have gone through all the practice sessions and you have you know where what to click how is this problem to be solved in quickest possible time right so how is this going to possible right so i will just cover one example of one of the theme and rest of the two themes are almost similar when it comes to accessing the portal so suppose i am in theme number 2 that is the theme which is about grade 3 4 and 5 students of non wis club infinity futures program you are not part of the wis club infinity futures program but you have participated in this technothon so how do you access the portal and take use of the practice sessions and get a good hold on the problem statement right so if you are having your valid login id and password already some of you are might have already you know register i mean uh, uh, logged in and check things but if you have logged in now if you are logged in you will end up on this screen and you just have to click the technathon right if you click the technathon then you will end up into a page which has three options overview you can read about it practice resources this is where you are supposed to focus on and maybe your assessment analysis but we go to practice resources if i move it a bit ahead it says clearly the practice session grade 3 4 5 if you are in theme number 2 non wis club infinity future students if you are in theme number 3 that is grade 6 7 8 ai challenge you will see grade 6 7 8 no time limit take a test and if you are part of the theme one that is wis club infinity future students then you will see similarly practice session grade 3 4 5 6 7 8 take the test right so whatever is your category 
you will have a similar page and you can actually get inside take the test now once you come inside the uh, you know take the test session you will see some numbers over here so very simple number 1 and it will follow to 2 3 4 5 6 7 right but you will see that you know there are some numbers which are circular and then there are some numbers which are the diamond shaped ones okay so what is the difference so first thing when you log in and you reach here don't worry about anything just get a bird's eye view look at things right there is a video here there are numbers here so you know you can read this that you are inside home products blockly programming quest practice session you are at number one and there is a video obviously you can watch the video it's a small video of one minute 48 seconds similar videos will be there then we go to point number two so because this is a theme related to simulation if it is would have been AI challenge, you will find information related to AI. But because this is theme number two, you are able to see simulation component information. These are the components which the theme two students will use to solve the actual problem statement. So some information related to this is given. But the moment you go to point number three, again, before I go to point number three, this is all blank mostly. The moment I click this diamond shape, then it actually opens a real problem statement here it shows the programmable blocks here which are logical programmable blocks and it shows the actual hardware block for your simulation software right so you can drag the block connect it and you will be able to feel it right that this is how the block is there you can bring it here you can zoom out and get a feel of it but which blocks to pick up what needs to be done the challenge is written here. Now you say, I don't know where are the simulation components, where is what. This looks difficult for me. That is where the most important thing is when you are at point number three, whatever is your challenge, focus on one and only one thing. What is that? Help button. Forget about what challenge is this. Just read it. Don't worry about it. Just read it. Have a look at, oh, there are blocks here. There is a block of hardware. I can drag some of the blocks. I can just pick and, you know, delete them in the delete button and all of that. But where is the actual example for me to really see it for myself? And that's where you come here and it straight away brings in a video for you. Now, this is a video which is of 3 minutes 7 seconds for the third point. So, there is a problem statement for third point and there is a solution video. So this video, if I make it full screen and if I play it for you, this will show you how to exactly use the portal step by step and solve that particular challenge. So you might say that, oh, there is a solution. How am I supposed to practice? Practicing is about getting a hold on the portal, understanding the problem statement, understanding what are simulation components, and it will also have the sample questions. Similar questions will come in the actual competition also so software code and questions and time taken these three will be combined together and you will be judged as a part of the competition that is where the practice sessions are very important and you must actually use the practice sessions by observing the videos and then try to do it you might say okay i observed the video and i exactly replicated it so what is the next way of looking at it right so the next level what you should do do not look at the video because in actual competition, you will have no such videos, right? In practice sessions, you are being given the video with actual solutions and how to work on the portal. But what we need to do is that first when you did it by looking at the video, then do the same problem statement without the video. Note the time. Come the third time, again do the same problem statement in lesser time because time is also a critical factor in this competition. So first, let us, let us look at this problem statement video. So before that, if I have to read the problem statement, I'm just crossing this. It says, hey champs, have you ever observed different shades of the sky during the rainy season? Display different shades of the sky, that is with your colors, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet on the tricolor LED. Instructions, use the tricolor LED block, add a delay of two seconds for each shade, and you can always look for the hint here the bulb is here or you can look at the solution help so when 
you read the problem statement now you want to see the solution video because you don't know how to do that right and that's where you can simply play this video and it will take you through the entire solution step by step and you will be able to get a hold on the portal first target is not to straight away solve in this video but important to get a feel of the portal right here you have some instructions now let us begin with the program before that make sure you are connected with the tricolor editor so the video has voice over now to display the it actually explains the how it is expected to be done so click on the tricolor editor and then you have to literally follow it as it is and connect it with the so now the video is trying now, to showcase to the, first color, the actual the red, way of programming the block red. as per the problem statement right so you suppose you start following it if i move this a little further then the program is actually getting bigger then i move this ahead and you can you will be able to see that the program is almost towards completion Intro. Then the program is getting yes. saved. How to save the program? And what you will see now is that if this is the program which I am supposed to actually, you know, look at it as a solution to the given problem statement at point number three in the practice session, then this is where the actual hardware blocks are coming. So you will be able to see how the actual hardware is responding to this software. So if you refer the video and you recreate this, then you will get a hold on the portal, exactly how the portal operates and that too for various problem statements, right? So when you want to practice, it's not just about one problem statement. How many such problem statements are available for you people to practice? So whatever is diamond shape is a problem statement. And for every problem statement, again I said, if you are at point number two, it's just information in the form of either some images with text or some video. But there is no help video here. Why? Because there is no problem statement. Point number three is your first problem statement, whether you are in theme one, theme two or theme three, doesn't matter. Whenever you are here, read the problem statement, look at the blocks go to the help section, play the video, understand it and redo it. Okay, one problem is there, you got little understanding. Go to point number five, sorry four, another problem appears. Look at the blocks, first was tricolor LED, now there is a buzzer here. So the problem statement is related to buzzer, right? So again you can look at the help section and you can actually look at the solution video. In this process, now you got another challenge, you got another hardware component and you got even better grip on the actual session. Similarly, point number five, what you will find is another challenge, set of blocks for seven segment and smart light because it has smart light and seven segment and for that you will find another help section video. So how many such practice sessions you have for you to do, right? So diamond shape 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, if I move ahead, so 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 5 such problem statements are given and for each problem statement till the point number 7, you always have the help section video. So refer the videos, look at the problem statement and solve all of them by looking at the video in the first practice. Whenever you get all these things done for the first five problem statements, whether it is you are in theme one, two or three, you will be able to get a solid hold on how to use the software, how to use the soft, uh, hardware blocks and try to solve a problem statement by taking, by looking into the video. Then comes point number eight. Here is your some information, but when you go to point number nine, sorry, here is your question, point number eight onwards, sample questions what kind of questions will be asked in the actual challenge because my output is again i repeating software program written correct or not whatever you will get marks hardware questions and finally the time taken these three will be combined together to judge and give you the final marks out of it right so you have questions here in terms of the 
MCQ questions which will be asked on a specific theme. If it is this theme, the questions are related to this theme. If it is a AI challenge theme for 6, 7, 8 grade, it will be asked on that. And if it is a first theme T1 for Infinity Futures Viz Club program, then it will be on the hardware plus software as well, right? So again, I am repeating uh, all of you that try to use the practice sessions and get a grip with the help of videos first. Then stop using the video and do it without video. Whenever you are stuck, you can always refer the video. And when third time, fourth time, fifth time you are practicing, you should never have to look at the video because in actual competition, there will be no video. You will actually have a very good understanding of how to use the portal. And eventually, you will be able to solve the given problem in the fastest possible time because you have done the practice sessions with a lot of practice, right? So this is what is the overall understanding of how to leverage the practice sessions irrespective of the actual theme and try to get a solid grip on this competition. So I wish all of you all the best for the practice session. Use them and you know I will love to see how quickly you are able to solve the problems eventually after 4-5 days of practice and if you do so, I can guarantee that you will be amongst those top competitors because time is a critical factor here. Okay. So thank you all of you for joining in this session and I wish you all the best uh, for the upcoming competition. Have a great night.